hi uh, welcome to tech tricks info the engineering tutorial hub uh, today we are uh, learning about the welding failures uh, that can happen so this is the cross-sectional view or the side view of the welding which has been made and this is the plan or the top view of the welding made so uh, a shows the perfect world with a, a correct current uh, correct arc length and the travel speed so this is a cross-sectional view over here and this is the pattern when we look uh, from the top okay now let's start with some failures happening B the cross-sectional view you can see over here this is ampere too low when the ampere is too low th uh, this is a cross-sectional view and um, uh, this is the top view of the pattern of the building it looks like when we look from the top or, or to the welding which has happened and uh, C this is another failure when the ampere is uh, too high when the ampere gets too high we'll have a lot of spatters and uh, this is a cross-sectional view and this uh, pattern shows the uh, top view when the ampere is too high and uh, when uh, a too short of an arc length uh, this is a failure that is shown in D the cross-sectional view looks like this and the top view of too short of an arc length would be almost like this this is also a failure uh, then going towards E that is an arc length too long when we have a, a long arc length we'll have undercuts you can see the undercuts happening over here with some spatters also so this would be how it uh, looks like and then we have uh, the failure of that is travel speed is uh, too low that means when we move uh, uh, the welding the travel speed gets too low what happens the cross section view looks like this and uh, uh, the pattern from the top view is similar to uh, shown here in F and the travel speed goes too fast uh, here is G that is a cross sectional view of travel speed too fast would be like this and this is the top view uh, it, it would generally look like so uh, from B uh, to G are some of the failures that's happening in welding uh, so I believe you got a small idea about the welding failures that can uh, happen uh, due to the travel speed and also the change in amperes and also the arc length so uh, for more technical related videos uh, you can visit my blog or my youtube channel if you like this video please drop a comment or click the like button and uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button on the top of the video so that you will get daily uh, technical video updates uh, thanks for watching this video